Today, we're diving into the green parts of our planet, natural vegetation regions. Vegetation regions are areas with distinct types of plants that are adapted to the climate and soil of the region. We're going to explore some of the major vegetation regions around the world, including grasslands, boreal forests, tropical rainforests, and tundra. Let's get started. First up, let's talk about grasslands. Grasslands are wide open spaces dominated by, you guessed it, grasses. These regions are found in places where there isn't quite enough rain for forests to grow, but more than deserts receive. There are two main types of grasslands, savannas and temperate grasslands. Savannas, like those found in Africa, are warm year round and have a mix of grasses and scattered trees. They're famous for their incredible wildlife, including lions, elephants, and giraffes. Temperate grasslands, on the other hand, are found in cooler regions, like the Great Plains of North America or the Pampas of Argentina. These areas experience more distinct seasons with hot summers and cold winters. Grasslands are often used for farming because the soil is rich and great for growing crops like wheat and corn. Next, we have the boreal forests, also known as taiga. These forests are found in the northern parts of North America, Europe, and Asia, just below the Arctic Circle. Boreal forests are characterized by their long, cold winters and short, cool summers. The trees here are mostly conifers, like pine, spruce, and fir, which have needles instead of leaves and are well adapted to the cold. The boreal forest is one of the largest vegetation regions in the world and plays a crucial role in absorbing carbon dioxide and helping to regulate the Earth's climate. It's also home to animals like moose, wolves, and bears, all adapted to survive in the harsh conditions. Now let's explore the tropical rainforests. If you love warm, wet, and wild, this is the place to be. Tropical rainforests are found near the equator in regions like the Amazon Basin in South America, the Congo Basin in Africa, and Southeast Asia. These areas receive lots of rainfall, sometimes over 200 inches, that's 500 centimeters, per year, and have warm temperatures year-round. The constant moisture and warmth create the perfect environment for a huge variety of plants and animals. Tropical rainforests are incredibly diverse, with towering trees, thick undergrowth, and a canopy that's so dense it blocks out most of the sunlight from reaching the forest floor. They're home to countless species, many of which can't be found anywhere else on Earth, including colorful birds, insects, and primates like monkeys and orangutans. Finally, let's head to the tundra. The tundra is found in the coldest regions of the world, like the Arctic and parts of Antarctica. This region is characterized by its extremely cold temperatures, short growing seasons, and a layer of soil called permafrost that stays frozen year round. Because of these harsh conditions, only the toughest plants can survive here, such as mosses, lichens, and low-growing shrubs. Trees are rare in the tundra because the soil is too cold and the growing season too short. The tundra may seem barren, but it's home to unique wildlife including reindeer, arctic foxes, and polar bears. During the brief summer, the tundra comes alive with wildflowers, and migratory birds walk here to take advantage of the short but intense burst of life. So, what do all these regions have in common? They each have their own unique set of plants and animals that are specially adapted to survive in their environment. From the wide open grasslands to the dense tropical forests, the towering boreal forests, and the frozen tundra, these vegetation regions are vital to our planet's health and biodiversity. That's it for today's geography lesson. Next time you think about the world's forests, grasslands, or even the icy tundra, remember the amazing variety of life they support and the important roles they play in keeping our planet balanced and beautiful.